Hello and welcome to my channel and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to generate elevation profile using a Google Earth Pro. So the first thing you need to do is to just open the Google Earth Pro application and uh, I presume that uh, you already have the Google Earth Pro installed in your computer. So just go ahead and uh, open the application. Then on your left hand side uh, you'll see this uh, search bar and just type in your area of interest then just hit enter so in order to uh, generate the elevation, elevation profile from uh, between two points uh, actually you need to uh, create a transect a transect is a line uh, it's actually basically a line between two points so and uh, uh, in Google Earth Pro in, in order to create uh, a line you need to uh, uh, you need to just uh, use the path so on the menu uh, you see uh, the add press mark we have the add polygon and then we have the add path add path is what we're going to use to uh, create a polyline or basically a path between two points and uh, I'll be actually generating a line i could be creating a line from uh, this particular point uh, if i zoom in a little bit uh, it's actually around about uh, this just uh, a chavakali junction so i'll be generating a line or polyline between uh, this particular point and the next uh, town which is uh, uh right here it's called bale so just go ahead and digitize a line between those particular those two points so let me just go ahead and zoom in sufficiently then uh i'll just click on that add path and uh, i need to give it a name and uh, we'll, we actually need to uh, digitize the line while uh, this particular window is on so you don't need to close it otherwise uh, you need to create it again uh, again so uh, another thing i need to do is to just change uh, to edit the style so i need to give it a color and uh, that's the color and then the width we'll do uh two then so uh, let me just go ahead and start editing and while you're editing you just use uh the wheel to just scroll uh, just zoom in and out So the elevation profile will actually give you the clear picture of uh, the terrain of between uh, two points so that you can understand whether you are doing uh, you are planning for your field basically survey field or whatever purpose that you want to use the profile for 
uh, it's actually uh, be useful especially in uh, engineering engineering work so just go ahead and digitize to this particular point and then I'm going I'm just going to say okay when you I've just completed digitizing and go back to my uh, windows don't close it just click OK so now I have uh, a line or a transect so in order to create let me uh, zoom out a little bit So in order to uh, create the elevation profile, uh, just go ahead and right click on the line that you just uh, digitized. Just right click and then uh, you'll be able to, see, to show uh, or to see this uh, show elevation profile. Just click on it and automatically uh, the program will generate uh, the profile between the two points. The starting and the end point so and uh, when you place your cursor at the starting point uh, you'll be able to see this uh, red icon right there and uh, as you can see you can also see that we have a summary at the top of this particular uh, elevation a profile we have a summary uh, like uh, for example we have the total distance between the two points and it's giving us a total of 4.94 kilometers and uh, we have the average slope uh, is uh, 4.2 uh, percent <laughs> and then you can see sorry about that the minimum uh, elevation is actually 15.24 the average elevation is 15.78 and the maximum elevation is uh, actually 16.19 so as you can see this uh, minimum elevation the average and maximum so uh, as you so if you place a cursor at the starting point as you move along uh be able to see that uh, our icon is actually moving along and you can see uh, it's actually a hilly uh, area and then the variation in a uh, slope is, a, is uh, quite uh, steep and you can see at this particular point it's like we have a river cutting across and uh, it's really uh, deep and uh, I believe uh, there's uh, a river cutting across that particular road then as you move around and we now start climbing uh, the slope so uh, at that particular point and that's where and that's the end of that uh, of our point so that's uh, basically how we generate uh, elevation profile and uh, if you need uh, to spot this particular uh, elevation profile uh, maybe for your report uh, what I can advise you is to use the snipping tool uh, to just extract you can just in the tab by we can just type in snipping tool snipping tool so this is the snipping tool but uh, luckily I have it in my in my taskbar 
I have it pinned on my taskbar. Just go ahead and click on it. And uh, uh, choose the mode uh, good for rectangular snip. And let me just move it. So just go ahead and uh, place your cursor that particular corner and just drag left click and then drag along like so and make sure that uh, all the information is captured like that and then uh, release your uh, the button and then just go ahead and click on this particular file button and save us can choose to save us a JPEG and I'll give it a name. Elevation profile and I'm going just going to, to save it temporarily on my desktop. Just click save. So just go ahead and close. So I have my elevation image right there uh, so that's how uh, you generally generally uh, extract elevation profile uh, from google earth pro and uh, that marks the end of this uh, tutorial uh, kindly remember to subscribe to my channel give this video a like and uh, see you in the next tutorial